Uh, so speaking of sort of putting your ethics to the test, we actually have a little, we like to play a little game with each guest. If you're cool with it, we're going to present you with a scenario, and then uh, you sort of question <coughs> your scenario. And we'll, we'll just see some, what, some of the outcomes. Is that cool? That's okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> scenario one. While passing by two adjacent ponds, you notice one person drowning in each. Hell, <laughs> they cry. Somebody call an ethicist. <laughs> Before you can spring into action, you see that each drowning person brought a picnic lunch. One was in the middle of eating a juicy hamburger, the other was eating some kale wrapped in sprouts. <laughs> you only have time to save one. Who do you save, the meat eater or the vegan? <laughs> well, that's, that's easy. You, you save the vegan, and there's two good reasons why you should save the vegan. One is, obviously, you're going to inflict less suffering on animals because that person is probably going to continue to be a vegan the rest of his life. Secondly, philosophers and health economists talk about the concept of a life year. How many years of life do you save by, for example, a medical intervention? Well, the person who's eating kale is obviously going to live a lot longer than that. <laughs> so you're actually producing more life years by saving that person. So that sounds like a great answer, but uh, sorry, turns out the vegan was American serial killer Ted Bundy. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming <laughs> on.